Hey, what is going on, everybody, and welcome to episode number 23 of the Half Court Headlines. I'm Andrew here for the last time this year, and today we're going to be going over who won the NBA Finals between the Miami Heat and the Denver Nuggets. Get into it right now. So this one was actually won by the Nuggets in five games. Very fun back and forth series, but the Nuggets took down the Heat in five games, and I will give you all the games. So in game one, Denver won 104 to 93 at home. The leader score leading scores were Jokic 27 and Bam 26. Uh, Jimmy Butler 13 points, Bam 26, Vincent 19. Haywood Highsmith with 18, Kyle Lowry with 11, and Aaron Gordon with 16, Porter Jr. with 14, 27 for Jokic, 26 for Murray. Jokic also had a triple-double, um, and Bruce Brown with 10. Nuggets won the first game by 11, 104-93 to in Denver. Game two, the Heat, they won by three. Very close game. That was a fun one. Um, Jimmy Butler, he had 21 leading score was Gabe Vincent. Gabe Vincent popped off this entire postseason, 23 points for him, 14 for Max Struess, 21 for Bam Adebayo and 10 for Duncan Robinson. Um, for the Nuggets, it was 41 from Jokic. So he balled out and then everyone else didn't really show up. 18 for Murray, 12 for Gordon and 11 for Brown. Game two was won by the Heat by three points. Game three, the Nuggets actually win 109-94, to 94, so they win by 15. The leading score for the Nuggets, it was Jamal Murray with 34. And the Heat leading score was Jimmy Butler. Um, Jokic, he had a 32-point triple-double, 21 rebounds for him. Jeez, this man's a beast. 34 point triple double for Jamal Murray. Uh, double double for Aaron Gordon, 11 points, 10 rebounds, and 15 for Christian Braun off the bench. Um, for the Heat, Jimmy Butler, 28 points, played really well. Bam out of bio, 22 point double double, and Caleb Martin, 10 points. And they only shot. 37% from the field. That is not going to get it done, and that's why they lost in that one. Game four, Nuggets win 108 to 95. Um, this one, great scoring opportunity from Aaron Gordon. 27 points leading the night for the Nuggets. And for the Heat, leading them was a 25 point performance from Jimmy Butler. Um, 27 for Gordon, 11 for Porter Jr., 23 for Jokic, and 12 rebounds, 15 points, and 12 assists for Murray, 21 points for Bruce Brown off the bench, and it was 20 points and 11 rebounds from Bam, 12 points from Kevin Love, 12 points from Robinson, 11 from Martin, and 13 from Lowry. But all, all that, not enough. Nuggets get it done. They win by 13. Winner go home for the Heat. And the Heat, they lose by five. Very, very close game. But the Nuggets, they win this one 94 to 89. Um, Butler scored 21, 20 points for Adebayo, 12 for Struess, 10 for Martin, 12 for Lowry. And then it was 28 for Jokic. Double double for him, 16 for Porter Jr. Double double, 14 for Murray, uh, 11 for KCP, and 10 for Bruce Brown. And with that being said, the Denver Nuggets win their first finals in NBA history. So they officially break out of the ringless club and they're. They've finally been put on the map after beating the Heat in five games. Um, yeah, it was after back-to-back -back MVPs and kind of struggling early season exits from early postseason exits from the Nuggets. 
actually get it done and they win their first NBA Finals and they win their first NBA Championship in franchise history. So congrats to the Nuggets and just a, a great season for them. They definitely deserved it. Nikola Jokic honestly should have been Finals. Or he should have been um, MVP this year over Embiid. But, you know, yeah, we'll see if he can keep it up next year. Uh, finals MVP, it was who else but Nikola Jokic. And he actually lost his finals MVP trophy. I don't know how that happens, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, he also said something about wanting to go back and just go with his horses. He's So what I find funny is he treats the NBA like his part-time job. And then his real his real job is he's like a horse racer. He likes horses and stuff. I think that's kind of funny. You don't see that happen too, meant too much. But, yeah, very funny from Nikola Jokic. And he likes horses more than the NBA. Can't can't hate on a guy for that. Um, with that being said, I'm going to pull up some of the NBA awards. So winning MVP, it is Joel Embiid. He had 200 more first-place votes than Jokic. Embiid wins his first MVP, Rookie of the Year, Paolo Bancaro. Um, no surprises there. Defensive Player of the Year, it is Jaron Jackson Jr. Um, very close, Brooke Lopez right behind him, but yeah, Jaron Jackson Jr. gets the call there. Sixth Man of the Year, Brogdon wins it. Um, yeah, very deserving on the Celtics. Most improved player, it was Laurie Markkinen. Great season for him. Very deserving. 25 points. Just a very phenomenal season. Shea Gilgis-Alexander actually was in second, so could have put him down. All NBA teams on the first team. Giannis, Jason Tatum, Joel Embiid, Shea Gilgis-Alexander, and Luka. Shea probably is be- definitely his best season of his career with 31 points a game. Second team, Jokic, that seems disrespectful, but uh, can only have one center. Donovan Mitchell, Curry, Butler, and Jalen Brown. Um, all makes sense. Third team, DeMontis Sabonis, De'Aaron Fox, Dame, Julius Randle, and LeBron. Um, all defensive teams. Uh, the first was Sharon Jackson Jr., Drew Holiday, Brooke Lopez, Evan Mobley, and Caruso. Derek White, Draymond Green, OG Ananobi, Dylan Brooks, and Bam Adebayo in the second teams. And Dylan Brooks, obviously, he got cut. So, sucks for him. Um, Coach of the year, Mike Brown for the Kings. Great year for him and definitely turned around the Sacramento Kings this year. And, yeah, those are all the awards. Now, the predictions that I have this year, um, I had the MVP being Luca, uh, almost, but didn't happen. Luke was actually eighth place in MVP voting, so that one was off. I thought he was gonna do better. Maybe he'll win next year, but Jokic or Embiid wins the MVP that year. Rookie of the year, I said Jaden Ivy, and. He's six, so he's on the list, but not number one. Um, most improved player, I said Tyrese Maxey. Uh, is he even on here? Yeah, I don't think he is. He's not, so that one was off. Yeah. Um, defensive player of the year, I said Rudy Gobert. Makes sense. He's won it in the past, but um, nope. Not on the list. So that one was off by me. Six men of the year, I said Jordan Poole. Um, he had a bad year, I think, especially recently. So that's why he didn't get it. Um, he's not even on the list. Yeah, I was really off with these predictions. Uh, coach of the year, I said Ty Lue for the Clippers. And he, he was on the list, but no nowhere, nowhere near the top. Tied for 12th. Yeah. Um, that one was tough. So 
the only I didn't get any of these right. And my finals prediction was um Bucks versus Clippers, and I said Clippers in seven, and the Bucks got eliminated in the first round. Same with the Clippers. So yeah. Um I'm a great predictor. Uh I do that a lot. Um yeah, completely off on all of them. Um yeah. Um, my predictions, I had the Celtics number one, Bucks number two, Sixers three, Cavs four, Nets five, Heat six, Hawks seven, Raptors eight, Bulls nine, Wizards ten, eleven, Pistons, twelve, Knicks, that one was way off, um, thirteen, Magic, fourteen, Hornets, fifteen, Pacers, and then I had Warriors number one, Clippers two, Suns, Nuggets, Mavs, Pelicans, Wolves, Grizzlies, Lakers, Kings, Blazers, Jazz, Spurs, Rockets, Thunder. Um, Pelicans made sense. They got hurt. Uh, Grizzlies, that one surprised me. They were number two. And Lakers also surprised me. That one on a crazy run. But, yeah, most of these pretty um, understandable but yeah, very, very um, fun to see just kind of what you predicted in the past. Had some hot takes. Um, I said if Philly doesn't win a championship this year, the Sixers will blow it up. And um hasn't happened yet, but I think they're going to be rolling with Embiid and Harden for the future. Um Hawks will make a lot of noise in the regular season and will make a deep playoff run. That's what I said. Um, I mean, I thought DeJounte Murray and Trey Young were going to be more special, but, you know, I don't know. They just didn't have it this year. Maybe next year. We'll see. But, yeah, that one didn't happen. If healthy, Clippers will win the NBA Finals. I still stand by that. I think they have a group to do it just didn't happen um but yeah i mean they could do it they just got to stay healthy and that's the name of the game mvp candidate jaw mvp winner luca um yeah about that jaw got into a little bit of trouble i mean he had a great year so he definitely could have but it was come on uh mb insane year for him i didn't even predict it uh that's how crazy it was um, no, uh, Luca will end MVP. Yeah, no, that didn't happen. He had a great year, but just didn't happen. It was, uh, MB should have been Jokic. Um, yeah, those are all my predictions. All of them were pretty much like not even close. It's kind of funny. Uh, yeah. And... With that, I think that is it for this episode and the final episode of Half Court Headlines for the year. We made it to episode number 23. We're going to try and do some more regular uploads as we go on throughout the next year. And um, now that we kind of get a sense of what needs to happen each episode, I think it'll get better every single time. Um yeah thank you so much for watching and with that i hope you all have a good summer and we'll catch you in the next episode whenever that may be thank you so much thank you for tuning in i'm andrew rovis and i will see you in the next episode peace out have a good one